Okay, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. It's Sandy again, here again to share another fun story with you. This one is called A Silly Snowy Day, and it's one of my favorites. But let's hope we don't have any more snow days. Ho hum, yawned Mr. Tortoise. Winter is here. Oh, so it is, yawned Mrs. Tortoise. Come on, Shelly, time for bed. Ah, oh, but I don't feel sleepy yet, said Shelly. Ridiculous, cried Mr. Tortoise. All tortoises go to sleep for the winter. Why, asked Shelly. Because it's cold outside and there's no food. But I don't want to go to sleep, said Shelly. I want to see what winter is like. Ridiculous, cried Mr. and Mrs. Tortoise together. Who ever heard of a tortoise outside in the winter? Soon, Mr. Tortoise began to snore. And not long after that, Mrs. Tortoise began to snore. And not long after that, Shelly left her warm bed of leaves and out she went through a hole in the shed to see what winter was like. Ooh, she was going on an adventure all by herself. That might not have been the best idea. Outside the shed, Shelly blinked. There was snow and ice everywhere, even on the duck pond in the hill, and she lumbered along. A duck spotted her. A tortoise out in winter, quacked the duck. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelly. Oh, no? Then let's see you break through the ice to get food like I can. Ha, quack, ha. Huh? He's right, thought Shelly. I can't do that. I don't have a beak. As Shelly began to walk up the hill, she met a dog. A tortoise out in winter, barked the dog. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelly, feeling a little cross. Oh, no? Then let's see you keep warm by running around like I can. Ha, woof, ha. He's right, thought Shelly. I can't do that either. Look at that dog wagging all around to try to keep warm. The dog ran after a cat, but the cat climbed a tree. She looked down at Shelly. A tortoise out in winter, meowed the cat. Ridiculous. Oh no, then let's see you. Oh no, it's not, said Shelly, even more crossly. Oh no, then let's see you run into a nice warm house as quickly as I can. Ha, meow, ha. She's right, thought Shelly, shivering with cold. I can't run like a dog or a cat. I'm just too slow. The cat raced off into her house before the dog could catch her. And Shelly trudged toward the top of the hill where she met a bird. A tortoise out in winter, cheeped the bird. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelly. Oh, no. Then let's see you fly home and cuddle up with your family while I can. Ha, cheap ha. Of course I can't fly, thought Shelly. I can't even hop. You guys learn to hop in gymnastics, don't you? Hop like a bird. Hop like a rabbit. Shelly felt cold and miserable. She remembered her warm, cozy bed and a tear trickled down her cheek. They're all right, she thought. A tortoise out in the winter is ridiculous. She was so sad and she didn't notice the big patch of ice ahead. <gasps> and she slipped on it. Shelly fell over backward and began to slide down the hill. Faster and faster she went. Kind of when you slide down the wedge at gymnastics and you slide down the wedge or you roll down the wedge. And faster than a dog could run faster than a cat, until suddenly she hit a bump and flew into the air like a bird. She did all those things those animals said she couldn't do. Whee! 
With a thump, Shelly landed on the icy duck pond and slid toward a hole in the shed. But it was all covered up with ice. Ha, quack, ha, what did I say? cried the duck as she slid by him. Where's your beak to break the ice with? I don't have a beak, thought Shelly, but I do have a shell. And tucking her head inside it, she broke through the ice into the shed and home. I just thought of something. When we tell you to tuck your head and do a front roll, it could be kind of like a turtle tucking its head into his shell. That's a new concept, something we can learn today. So there's Shelly, she broke into her house just like that. Hearing all the noise, Mrs. Tortoise woke up. You haven't been outside, have you Shelly, she asked. A tortoise out in winter, said Shelly snuggling into bed. And before she could say, ridiculous, she was fast asleep. This has been a really fun book. I liked this so much that I got two copies of it. And I would like to share a copy of it with one of you. So, like us on Facebook, share this with your friends, and your name will be put into a drawing and Sandy will send you a copy of this book we read today, A Silly Snowy Day. We will draw for one person to win this book, okay? Have a good day. Tune in tomorrow for another story. Bye-bye.